Welcome to your astrology and spirituality overview for Thursday the 7th of January. Today we're using the Tarot de Marcel cards. If you would like to check out these cards for yourself, you can find that on our app and also on the website where you can have a th free three card tarot reading. The app is horoscope-ace.com and it's available in Android, iPhone and also Facebook. Yeah, so we'll leave the link for that underneath as well. So the card that comes up today is the Nine of Wands. This is tricky in some ways, but it asks us to stand firm. It asks us to stand uh, up for something that we have created. So it could be that we stand up for a friend today. It could be that we stand up for a position that we believe in. If someone is trying to maybe take advantage of us in some way, or trying to just um, railroad us with their opinion, it's really asking that we don't give in to that. It doesn't have to turn into an argument, but we must stand firm on our own moral beliefs today. Oh, blimey, because the astrology really plays into that card, because we've got a T-square today between Mars, just moved into Taurus, Saturn and Jupiter together in the square, and then the Moon just moves uh, midday uh, uh, Universal Central Time into Scorpio, T-square, all in fixed signs. Fixed signs like stability, but what we could hear, because Mars and the Moon are polar opposites, aren't they? Mars is about uh, acting out our desire instantly, just going for what we want. Moon is more reflective, it's about being cautious, about protection. Saturn's about restriction, and Jupiter is about, well, let's go for it, let's see the big picture. So I think that some kind of frustration already very possible with Saturn square in Mars can be even greater today because it can feel that something really does feel in or seem immovable but the great thing about the moon in Scorpio is that it does give us an opportunity to get beneath the surface so if we are met with a frustration today perhaps what we need to do is is just to think into it pray into it uh, meditate into it rather than react because something could seem very enclosing and we know the circumstances at the moment are very enclosing so it's easy for me to say that but I'd be saying that even if Covid wasn't ongoing. Mm. Well, well thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you would like to read your written daily horoscope you can find that in the description box beneath this video. Thank you so much Elisa and Elisa's three card tarot is also underneath in the description box. It's really great, it's very very accurate because each of the tenses of the past, present and the future are actually individually written for those outcomes. A lot of free tarot apps just use the same script for every outcome. So just leave you feeling a bit sort of, well, I don't really know what that means. Then there's not much definition. So the clarity from this particular solution that we've created is really, really good. And as you know, I'm, I'm quite Yeah, I'm quite smiling keen. because you use it a lot. I haven't used it today much, have I? <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. And if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the uh, notification, notification bell. bell. But for now, from us both, it is... Goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. goodbye.